Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. After the Fed meeting with the Congress, let's just say natural gas tides have turned into an uptrend. But before we get into that, Iran faces an uphill battle in push to revive the LNG export projects. And on the other end, US natural gas production grew by 4% inside of 2022. And we all know the reason behind it. It's obviously the war between Russia and Ukraine. Before we get into all of this, if you guys are here for the first time, you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with natural gas, I highly recommend you scroll down, tap the red subscribe button right there, slap a like on the video just for the YouTube algorithm so the video can be pushed out to more people and more people can stay up to date with what is happening with natural gas. Despite holding the world's second largest natural gas reserves and having Russia as a new partner, Iran faces challenges to revive one of its 30 LNG export projects. Now the reason they're having problems is shares the giant North Dome South Para field with Qatar, but it has fallen far behind in developing its reserve to meet the domestic and the international demand. If you compare Iran with the neighboring Qatar, a top LNG exporter sharing the same huge gas reserve, you question why Iran is so behind in its developing its gas assets. And the main reason is they're not able to afford as much as Qatar can because they do have a lot more money from oil and is able to just export a lot quicker. And on the other end, while Iran is facing that trouble, natural gas production inside of the US has increased significantly. As you guys can see, we have seen a huge increase by the time that we actually got to 2022. I mean, if you compare it to 2012, we're up quite a lot. And just in 2021 to 2022, we also have seen a slight increase. If you do look over here, annual change in US natural gas production by region you can see that it is up quite significantly when it comes to the southern part of the country right now it is showing that us may be leading the natural gas exports in the coming years also if you have been paying attention to the chart as i mentioned once the fed had their meeting with the congressmen about their new laws and what is their future plans let's just say the market was quite happy including s p 500 pretty much all the markets were quite happy and especially natural gas finally flipped its downtrend into an uptrend just for a short period of time. Right now, we are sitting on a very crucial support close to 2.185. If we are able to consolidate for the whole day, which is most likely going to be the outcome, we will be able to see a slight uptrend coming forward. And you need to understand we are also getting very close to April, which is going to be the month which will finally take natural gas out of the cold. What I'm trying to say is usually November, February, and March are the worst months when it comes to natural gas price. And we're just about to get out of that two month period of being in the worst. And we're finally going to be turning the tides. That's all I'm going to say. On the RSI line, on the other end, you guys can see we are pretty much in the dead middle. So we might be able to keep climbing from here. Now, the buy and the sell orders are up significantly compared to what has been happening from the past couple of days. And you guys can see that since the 22nd of March, which is about eight days ago, we have been in a downtrend and finally broken it properly. Now, Accelerate remains agnostic in global search for more LNG contracts. Now, this energy company is looking for more opportunities to grow its nascent LNG portfolio, but not only in the US projects, but expands its role as the global natural gas supplier. Now, if they're able to work with, let's just say Iran or any other smaller country, which is not able to fund big projects, that could be one of the ways they can expand their business and be able to be one of the largest natural gas suppliers globally. Now, another thing is expiring natural gas future for below $2 is the downtrend price pressure endures. Now, keep in mind the downtrend price point. I personally think this will be the turning point. As you guys can see, 
when it hits April, that's when the uptrend starts to carry. And you need to understand that uptrend, it means in the price, the uptrend will start to show a lot more, a lot better indication. And you guys can see gas and storage is weekly starting to go down. But as we went into March, it is not going down as much as it was going down in February and start of March. So compared to year, you guys can see the storage is quite high production offset LNG demand and May takes over prospect month right now this is just a wait and watch thing but something that is a big news is gas pipeline under repair in the serbian catches fire task what they're trying to say is a natural gas pipeline that has been repaired in the northern serbian caught fire on wednesday but there was no disruption to the supplies news agency mentioned the incident occurred near pelm which is around 430 kilometers north of Serbian energy hub of Taimun. Taimun Gazprom said there had been a disruption of Yamburn Yellens one pipe followed by a fire. So pretty much they were trying to repair the pipeline that is going to be one of the ways they will be supplying natural gas, but there was some fire and the only thing we need to understand is this did not disrupt any sort of supply. Now the price prediction pretty much anything you look at is suggesting we still have the point where we're going to be keep going down and we're going to be hitting the $2 mark. Personally, I feel like if we even hit the $2 mark, the only thing you need to understand is from there, we might be able to bounce back. That's just what I'm trying to say. Again, it's financial edu education, so you might want to do your own research before you're putting money in anything. Now, US net gas flows to Freeport LNG export plant in Texas rise. The amount of natural gas flowing to US or LNG company export plant in Texas was on track to hit its highest on Wednesday since shutting down in June of 2022. Now, this is good in a way because, you know, like it's starting back up, but you need to understand that the supply in the next few weeks will start to go significantly higher inside of the US but the demand is still staying low, so we might be able to see another push down in the price. I know the shorters are going to be extremely happy. Now, Qatar Energy picks up stakes from Exxon in Canadian offshore blocks. So pretty much, Qatar Energy wants to become part of more to do with natural gas. That's all I'm going to tell you. And finally, scope for extra losses is what is on track. Another test of 2023 low of natural gas price if we do fall below the two dollar mark after that there will be too much chaos around the market and you have to be very cautious in terms of what is going to happen from there on i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did drop a like on it if you're new to the channel you do want to stay up to date with everything scroll down tap the red subscribe button if you do have a specific crypto or specific trade you want me to talk about let me know down in the comment section been reading a lot of comments i hope you guys will have a great day ahead and i'll see you guys very soon i'm out Peace.